thank you for your recent purchase. If you purchased a different model other than what is shown, the setup steps, cryosurgical procedure, and post-operative instructions will be the same. For model CT-CT1010, you should have received the following items in the shipping case. 1. Cryopen Cryosurgical System 6. Handheld Modules 1. Temperature Indicator 1. Pack of each size reusable tips 3, 5, 7, and 10 millimeter, 3 tips per pack. 1 500 milliliter reservoir solution. 1 1 ounce reservoir cup. 1 rubber lid. 1 pack double sided swabs and 1 pipette. 1 cryopen towel. Two tablets of take-home instructions. Operator's packet. In-service sheet. And return shipping documents. The Cryopen Cryosurgical System is the most advanced state-of-the-art technology in the field of cryosurgery. The system provides a means of freezing tissue without the use of cryogenic gases or liquids. Setup is simple, but you should carefully review the operator's manual before use. After you have unpacked the unit, position it near the closest 115 volt outlet. Remove the electrical cord located on the right side of unit behind the grill. Connect the cord to the unit. We strongly recommend using a surge protector to protect your investment. Do not use an extension cord. Plug the cord into the outlet, but do not turn the unit on at this time. The unit must be placed a minimum of one and one half inches away from the wall or counter backsplash to allow proper ventilation. Next, fill the reservoir cup with one ounce of the supplied reservoir solution. Store remaining solution in a cool, dry place. After the reservoir cup is filled, remove the three pens from the chilling wells located at the top of the unit. Using the supply transfer pipette, fill each chilling well with one pipette full of reservoir solution. Fully insert the cryopen handheld modules into the chilling wells. Make sure pens are pushed firmly into place. Failure to do this will result in pens not reaching optimal temperatures. Turn on the power switch on the left side panel of the unit. The unit will be operational in approximately 90 minutes. A green light on the front panel will indicate that power is on. The shipping case must be returned. Place all foam pieces back into the shipping case. Using the tie wrap, attach the supplied shipping label to the side of the case. Call FedEx to schedule the pickup. Failure to return the shipping case within seven days of delivery will result in additional charges. Complete the in-service sheet and e-fax to Cryopen. Completing the in-service sheet will activate your warranty and will ensure that you receive future system information. If you need further assistance, call technical support at 1-888-246-3928. Use the temperature indicator to determine the temperature readiness of the handheld cryopen. Attach the temperature indicator to the top of the pen and press the button. When the indicator light is green, the cryopen is ready for use. Once you have set up your cryopen system and have confirmed readiness of the cryopen using the temperature indicator, you are ready to perform your procedure. From the holding wells, remove a warm pen, wipe dry, and gently dip the pen into the reservoir cup. It is important to wipe the pens dry before dipping into the reservoir cup. Failure to wipe the pens dry may contaminate the solution and cause failure of the unit. Select a cryopen from its seat in the chilling well. Replace with a dipped pen from holding well. Select a tip appropriate for your procedure. Carefully fit the tip on the end of the pen. 
You are now ready to perform your cryosurgery procedure. In any given procedure, ablation and transition zones will vary with tip diameter. Zones will vary with skin thickness, location, and lesion type. When selecting a cryopen, desired depth of freeze should be considered. The larger the tip, the deeper the ablation zone. For proper treatment, a target lesion should be covered completely by the cryopen tip. More information on ablation and transition zone consideration can be found in the Operator's Manual and the Cryo 101 Lecture. After the procedure, remove the tip from the pen and place the tip in a cold soak sterile fluid such as Cydex or Wexide. Place the used pen into the holding well for defrosting. Pen should be rotated at the end of each day. Rotate from holding wells to chilling wells. And remember, each pen must be wiped dry from the holding well and dipped before placing it into a chilling well.